honor your father and mother in the Lord. Yes, each and every kind of honor has it, its cost. Kila heshima yote ambayo mtu anapaswa kupewa iko na gharama yake. Hona ni heshima fulani ambayo mtu anapaswa kupewa kama ameitimu mambo fulani katika jambo lile ambalo linafanya anaitwa mheshimiwa ama anapaswa kuheshimiwa kwalo. Baba says that honor your mother and father in the Lord. Fatherhood has responsibilities. Mpendwa kuitwa mheshimiwa iko na majukumu. Yona wanaita mahali mtu honorable kwa sherehe fulani unasikia honorable fulani yako hapa. Huyo mtu kuna vile alifanya ndiye akaanza kupata hiyo heshima. Ali campaign kapea watu pesa akauza sera akafanya kafanya example ya vile vitu ambavyo atafanya ndiye akaitimu kuitwa mheshimiwa. Baba yako na mama yako walikulea, mama yako alikubeba kwa tumbo, wakakulea, wakangangana mpaka ukafika mahali ulipo. That's why they deserve your honor. Na zaidi ya hiyo kuna mambo fulani fulani ambayo tena wamegarimika kufanya katika maisha yako. Vile vile your pastor he serves his or his or as honor. Na mambo fulani amekulea katika ulimwengu katika ma, katika safari yako na Mungu. Spiritual life. So they deserve their honor. But ikikuja pande hii nyingine you don't force to be honored. You don't force to be honored. A god father Bible inasema kwamba honor you are god with honor god you your substance and your first fruits. Sababu God has responsibilities over our lives. Mungu ako na majukumu mengi katika maisha yetu. Kuna mambo mengi tu sana ambayo Mungu anatufanyia hata mengine tunayejua na mengine hatia juu. So Mungu halazimishi hiyo heshima kwa sababu tayari tunaona ukuu wake katika maisha yetu. Na watu ambao wanalazimishia heshima you cannot be honored if you don't stand in your gap to, to fulfill your responsibility if you don't stand to be responsible you cannot uweze kupewa heshima uweze kusimama kwa nyumba useme kwamba mimi ndio mzee wa hii nyumba lazima mtatuheshimu mtaniheshimu mtanipatia heshima ama nitawalaani na tukiangalia vizuri hausimami kama mzee uweze kusimama kama mtu kiongozi mahali fulani popote pale ama mchungaji ama mtumishi uanze kulazimisha heshima kwa lazima na hatuangalii tukiangalia hatuone yale mambo ambayo umefanya nayo paswa heshima first pay the cost lipa gharama ambayo inahitaji mtu kuheshimiwa fanya respons- be responsible you must first be responsible ya wale watu ambao unataka wakupatie heshima be responsible mtu akikupigia simu saa sita ya usiku kama ananyongwa na pepo unaweza kumwombea mbona utasema huyu ananisumbua Mtu akikwambia kwamba nimefungua nyumba iko pesa 2000 nipatie 2000 unaweza ukampatia ama utamu utamuona utamu, tu kama hautakuwa hauta, hauta msaada kwake those are the responsibilities mtu akibackslide ikuja kama analia umwombe okovu utamfukuza useme kwamba mimi nilikuwa na kuheshimu kimu merudi nyuma those are the, some of responsibilities you cannot force uwezo ukalazimisha tafadhali heshima tu uheshimiwe kwa lazima ama utaachilia laana kweli utaachilia lakini you don't you cannot force the owner watu huwa wanakuheshimu kulingana jinsi ambavyo pia wewe mwenyewe ume, umefanya mambo umeleba kwa niaba yao Mungu wabariki sana glory